welcome to Cars and Deals. Today I want to show you this 2024 CLA 250. I will show you all the changes on this car. It's got a refresh. I will talk about the monthly payment on lease and finance. And you'll find out what's the best deal on this car by the end of this video. So Mercedes-Benz changed quite a few things on a CLA. And I guess the first thing that I'm going to tell you is the price. They changed the price. It went up by about $4,000. It was $39,000 the base price before, right now it's $43,200. A MSRP of this car with few options is $48,000. It's got the AMG Night package and heated seats. So is that all inflation or Mercedes-Benz Benz actually provided additional value to justify the cost, additional cost um, to this car? So that's what I'm going to talk about and show you this car in more detail. They did change a few things. CLA is the four-door coupe. So four-door coupe means that it's got kind of a coupe design with the slope in the back. And that leads to less headroom. But who cares, right? This car is mainly bought by... 25 to 35 years old uh, customers um, so they don't really have a lot of people sitting in the back and if it's their friends again who cares right <laughs> so we have frameless doors with no frame over the glass window glass here uh, this interior we saw on the previous um, model of CLA 2023 it's got a microfiber kind of swage material here um, I personally don't like it but I like the MB textile leather uh, this is standard white they did bring up some new colors available for CLA the exciting one is the hyper blue that is available in SL right now so that's gonna be available in CLA. Let me show you more of the interior. So this is the interior of the car and we can see a few changes right away. Let's start the car. First change that the center console touchpad is gone. So now we can really control this with the steering wheel, which got the new design as well with the touchpad here or with actual touch screen this part of the screen is the touch screen and this is not you can still customize it and change the information you can see here no nav on this car unless you go for exclusive or pinnacle package and with pinnacle you also get the heads up display that's a big option right there and 360 view camera so you don't have a 360 view camera on this car but they, what they surprisingly made standard, I think that's where Mercedes-Benz is going, so that every model will have the uh, uh, self-park assist. So essentially it can park itself. Um, I know that in Europe um, you can actually do it when you're outside of the car, but in United States, you have to be in the car. Uh, my seat belt is not on and I noticed it doesn't work when it's not on, so it doesn't find the space. And by the way, it won't park itself on the empty parking lot. It will only do it between other objects. So it has to go off something and I can't find a suitable space for it to park. Um, plus I have another excuse, that's the uh, seat belt that is not on but it does work and does work pretty well when it finds the space between other cars or a car and it can also go off the lines um, markings on the road so wireless charger is standard parking is standard garage door opener is standard and Sirius XM is standard so those are the features that are standard on this car ambient lights standard but it was standard before. So these few features are standard. 
Uh, now they also have the new engine with slightly better fuel efficiency. So it's 30 combined, 36 in a city and 26, um, I'm sorry, 36 in highway and 26 in, on highway. So slightly uh, better, three miles per gallon better than 2023. Panorama is standard as well. You have a screen here as well. So these things are standard. So you have the new Angel engine, it's mild hybrid, and uh, it's got additional 13 horsepower on top of um, the horsepower coming from an engine. And the new, so it found interesting space. Let's see what it does. I guess you don't have to have a seat belt on. So, so the new transmission is eight-speed dual-class transmission. It used to be an eight-speed dual-class transmission as well, but it was seven. It used to be dual-class transmission, but it was seven-speed. Now it's eight-speed. So, just driving it off, um, driving it on the lot. I noticed that it kind of um, has a better pickup, doesn't have turbo lag, um, as much turbo lag that it had. It's just a few observations, still not super quiet. Like before, I expected it to be more quiet, but I didn't really notice a big improvement on that. By the way, it did park itself. Every time it does it, it scares me. It's gonna hit the car, but I didn't drive it on the road because it's a brand new car. I didn't want to put miles on a brand new car that lately will be purchased by someone. But uh, that's just my first impression. And let me show you the numbers on this car. By the way, if you guys um, interested in this car or you want to get any other Mercedes Benz here in California, you can reach out to me. I work at Mercedes Benz store that sells a lot of cars and we have great deals so you can always reach out to me with any questions and don't forget to like the video subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like this one let's get to the numbers on this car $48,000 MSRP discounted by $3,300 uh, these numbers do not include taxes because taxes are different for each county but you can see the finance payments with a special rate from Mercedes-Benz for a CLA 2024. Uh, so you're at about 684 with $3,000 down on finance and you're 595 on the lease 36 months. That's for 10,000 miles. So not bad for a $50,000 car. Uh, the uh, Mercedes-Benz has special rate both on the lease and finance for this model. And you can see the residuals uh, after three or four years. Obviously, four years is not good for this car. I uh, hope this was helpful.